this one. I like this much better. I'll see it at like 204, 205. I think it's going to be like happy medium. I think you'll connect with your back a bit better when you have a little bit of fluids. Mm -hmm. it connected pretty good. The back shot was good. I'm not saying it was bad, but it, it might it might come to life a little bit more. Though. Yeah, yeah. Not only, like I said, I can get that glute like on every time because I don't even have to think about any yeah. of this. It just it's just now it's it just, just happens. <laughs> Yeah, see, I, I think that's why I like this a bit better. Yeah, see, to me, that's like the better you. Only thing is that the, the reason I think I might like you at 205 better is two-pronged. One, you're going to have to go through rounds and hold it. Yeah. Because um, you're going to have initials, individuals, and then first call-outs. Um, and I think you might be a little full of the back shot where it might help that pop a little bit more. Yeah. Not the rear relax. Honestly, you can't even see it in the rear relax. It's the back double where uh, you connected well with it. And I think it might just like connect even better for you. Yeah. See though, like, I'm, I'm not convinced that it's, that it's really that much better, to be honest with you, because that just looks so good. Um, so I think Shoday, we don't even eat anything in the morning yet. I wake up and go. So you're talking like before your tan? Yeah. 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 Because I'm not going to go to stage till 10, past like 10, 10 ish, right? No, we don't have to rush it. The only awkward thing about that is if you're like 10 30. It's like eating at 7.30, it's like, do you have another, do you have more food before you go on stage? Oh, like two meals. But you'll see me today, what I look like after one meal. You'll that's, see what me, I, that's what I was going to say. And it's you'll like, see me after two meals, um, and uh, yeah, I will be able to tell. So just figure out what we want to do for meals, if we want to keep it, keep it the same, or we want to keep the protein a little bit lighter. I've been doing the eggs and or the egg whites, the eggs and then one English muffin, sixty oats for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. I think mean, the only thing that would change tomorrow is you probably like not have the much egg, egg whites. whites. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go like nut butter and whey, or like a little bit of chicken and like some whey or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, uh, do 20 minutes, like, really low impact for me, because I don't need you really dropping a whole lot more from here. Yeah. Um, but I'll be honest with you, man, like, you can walk on stage like this, or you can walk on stage 208. I mean, either either of them are, are really, really good. The only reason I like this look a bit better, and potentially, like, the 205 look as well, and we'll see that when we um, try to pace your... Uh, Fluids for like liter and a half by ten for me, just so I can see what that looks like. Because I'm thinking like that's probably a valve where I might have you be. Yeah. Fluid wise for, and then you can you can make it up from there and it's fine. Yeah, it's just so good with a midsection. Like condition wise, like everything else is fairly similar. Like it's not really sharper or, or too flat where it makes it worse, you know? Yeah. 
I'm, I'm thinking 205 is probably going to be on the money. <coughs> yeah. One day out. This is crazy. Today is Tuesday, August 29th. Tuesday, August 29th. It's five minutes to eight. We just got back from the gym. Typically, one day out, guys, you're not really doing cardio, but Luke and I are a big believer in just like continuing your regular routine. This is my regular routine every morning. Um, obviously, normally my cardio's, cardio is like 40, 50, 60 minutes. We've cut it down to like 30. Today was just like literally 20 minutes. He's like, just, he, he wanted me to just get steps in, but I told him like, I wanna to go to the gym. Like that's part of my routine. I do some stretching as well. So 20 minutes on the elliptical, super light. Didn't even break a sweat. Um, weight this morning was 203.3 out of bed. And then I just weighed in now, we're 201.8. So weight is a little bit lower than what we kind of expected, but that's fine. We're still in a good spot. Um, we were testing some looks last night. We were at like 208.8. .8. It was a really good look this morning at like the fasted right out of bed weight. It was a good look as well. Really sharp, probably the sharp as I've been. Um, just a little bit on the flatter side. So we're gonna try and get the weight up probably between like 205 and 206. It's probably gonna be like the perfect number on stage, guys. Um, so I'm gonna get into meal one. And water-wise, we're gonna paste the water a little bit. Knowing that we have to weigh in today at four o'clock, 209 should not be a problem. We have not been over 208.5 or 208.6. Um, like even like later in the day. So weigh-ins are at four o'clock. We're gonna go over there probably around three, see if we can get in early. And then my tan is at 5.30 today. So I have tons of people messaging me and wishing me luck. And um, some people also telling me, oh yeah, you're gonna win that pro card. Like you can't even think that way, guys. You don't know who's coming out. We're gonna, we're gonna bring our best. Um, and obviously the pro card is, is there. I'm not cocky, I'm confident. Um, I want that pro card, I want the win. We want, we want the overall, but at the same time, Again, you don't know who's coming out. We're just gonna bring our best, keep my head in it, stay in my zone, and, and that's it, guys. So I'm super pumped. And having Luke in my corner, I, don't, I can't think of any other better coach to have with me. And, um, and obviously, Steph behind the camera, like she's done so much for me this entire prep. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna get all sentimental right now. <laughs> we got a job to do. Let's get, so we're gonna get into meal one. I'm gonna start making it up. It's, it's gonna be the exact same thing I've been eating the last three days. Um, a little less veg. A little less veg, but uh, same thing. Just gonna keep that formula going. It's, it's working and um, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I didn't time my English muffin. This was uh, <clears throat> the kitchen, the, the front end staff would be like, where's the English muffin? Which I already made it's waiting for it to toast. Questionnaire. I just kind of took mine and modified it in the format of what we need to write um, And then John, you want to look through this and make sure that everything you want slash need on it is there as well. Um, but where did mine? I worked until 2 again last night, so. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, what was I saying? Oh, so when they get this onboarding documentation on this initial email, like they would get this, this sheet. It's just people not taking the time to do it. Like a can. Alright. Let me see. What we got? Nice. Nice. Okay, so the key to eating the breakfast now is you got two English muffins. These are your, these are like your carriers. <clears throat> this is the delivery method for the yolk and the egg. So you take the first English muffin. Yeah, I uh, <clears throat> take a little bit of the egg. Scoop it. Then you use the bottom of the fork to break the yolk while you're like dipping it at the same time, and then it gets like all yolky. And then you throw this. Oh on gosh. top of the English muffin, like that. That's your first bite. It's like the best bite. Mm. 
So good. How much fluid are you in? One, one, one liter. One liter? liter. Yeah. So plus plus a, a three quarter coffee. Okay, so for a liter and a half in, then you're probably 2045. It's fine. This will give us a good gauge of where you're at. So, peak week testing. One of the biggest things is kind of testing fluid and fluid amounts around the time that he'll be on stage. And we like to look anywhere from like 203 to 205. And so we're just trying to decide where on that spectrum. We probably would guess all the way up to 206 is kind of where we, we like it. So just deciding where on that spectrum we need to land them tomorrow morning. So uh, some fluid testing and food testing, just one mil in here. On stage tomorrow seeing this, I would imagine we are going to be about a liter and a half in, um, potentially with two feeding. So we'll see. we'll see what this looks like and then go from there. So, like, this is a really good look. How does your stomach feel? Other than I just finished the plate of cookies. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I, 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 would, I would want to eat that further out. 45 minutes before yeah, yeah. we just started posing. Feels, but that's actually looks great. Yeah. So, I think 2045 is probably where I would all like. Yeah, 205 would be like the max. Yeah. But. This is a great look. The thing that for tomorrow, and like something for the coaches out there, is like watching you pose, like, you get more comfortable the more you pose. So it's, it's almost not even about full pump up for you. It's more like, let's run through a round. 100%. Like our two backstage, because that's going to help with the pump up process anyways, right? Find that hammy <laughs> stomach, <laughs> breathe out. And then go. And then vacuum. So it's like. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll do that as part of the pump up process, right? Is that posing around for him helps him with the presentation, so. I agree. And then, and then we just have a little top up while we're there to hold you up. And then instead of a liter of fluid by stage time, we do a liter and a half, which we know is still low enough to settle on your stomach. Yeah, I, th I think we have a liter, a liter with the first like meal, two meals, and then we have the other half liter to what sip on. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like we pace that last half liter based on how low or high your weight is. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, 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 exactly. And if we get delayed, at least we have more water with us. I bought a little. Uh, Salt shaker as well. Yeah, I'll probably pack an extra liter with me that I won't touch. Like, it'll be just emergency. Okay. I don't think you're going to be on stage, Braden, until 1030 at the earliest. Potentially 11. Because you said it starts at 9. Mm -hmm. They'll do all the master's classes A and B. True. So I think, I think you're going to probably be like 1030-ish. But if it goes to like 11, 15... And that's just a little fluid sodium to hold you up. Yeah. So, meal three. It's 10 to 2. Check-ins, weigh-ins, registration is at 4 o'clock. We're going to go at 3.30. 
guaranteed the line is going to be like crazy long. So anyways, we're going to go around 3.30. Hopefully we'll get through check-ins quickly. And then uh, Tan is at 5.30. I'm going to try and get in a little early, barring we get through check-ins quickly, hopefully. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then we're all settled in, checked in, registered, tanned up, and we're good to go. And then it's just executing the plan for the rest of the night. Uh, Luke just dialed up this meal. We have 250 grams of rice, 120 grams of chicken, and uh, this is gonna be meal three. Like I said, going down at just about two o'clock. And weight right now is 205, which is perfect. We're not stressing about the cap, cap's 209. I've had two liters of water. I'm gonna sip on another probably half a liter, um, half a liter to 750 ml before uh, check-ins depending on weight and uh, we'll go from there guys. So I'm excited. Everything's coming coming together and um, ready to rock and roll. Beard is lined up. Beard's lined up. We could double into men's physique if we want to, but we're not going to. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> um, <laughs> we can probably find some. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get this meal in, guys. And we're gonna head to the And we're gonna head to head to registration. And we'll catch you guys catch you guys there. That's too smooth, you know it's never gonna go. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Uh, update. <laughs> the scale was three and a half pounds off. <laughs> so we made it through, but nope. Jesus Christ. But barely. But barely. Uh, so we made weight. Um, I, the scale, the scale was, I don't know, their scale was off because I stepped on the scale and it was like two, 209.6. My cut, my cutoff is 209. I stepped off the scale and I was like about to say like, oh shit. And the guy, and the guy was like, oh yeah, 209 on the dot. Perfect. You're through. And I'm like, yes. But our, our scale has them at 206. And the guys at the counter were, were looking at them like, uh, like a deer caught in the headlights. Like, uh, that wasn't, <laughs> but they put me through. We're in. I think their scale is heavy because we have been weighing on my scale all week and we just we just re-weighed myself on our scale. I was 206.8. So their scale's off. There's no way I'm 209.6, but 10 now and then back to the house yeah. for some meals and just chill out. First coat of tan is on. And uh, now we are back, obviously, at the Airbnb. It's five o'clock. It was really nice. I will say the registration mm -hmm. process was super smooth. Got right in, right through, got into my tan. Um, and my tan's actually not supposed to be about 5.30, so. And what time nice. is it? It's like five o'clock right now. It's five o'clock, so it's nice to get through, done, and we're back there, BB, we can chill out. Um, about to get this meal in is uh, 200 grams of rice and 120 grams of chicken. I have a couple pickles with it, some sea salt, and then we're gonna chill out. Thanks, man. We just checked weight, guys. I had a little nap. We did picks with Luke. What was your weight? Weight is 205.2. .2. So the nap was really nice, guys. My body just kind of relaxed. I probably got like maybe 40 minutes to an hour, which is really, really good. Now I'm making up meal five. So if you just upload the initial photo, do that, let me know. And all you have to do is just click. <laughs> on is here, it interesting? Right click, up, 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 and you can upload it right away. That's the call. And Wait, so what yeah. did you just do so there? Me, <laughs> what, what is just happening? Okay, so that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> we have 120 grams of chicken. Mm -hmm. We have 350 grams of rice. Mm -hmm. And I made this um, vanilla van the vanilla protein protein powder a sludge. I poured it on top of the rest of the rice because it makes the rice taste like cake. And then I also get 20 grams of peanut butter with this meal too. So this one is a good one, guys. I love this meal. This is like one of my favorite meals whenever we're doing like a peak. Um, it's so, so good. What's the, like, what's the purpose of the peanut butter now? Um, because my weight is like not really coming up. Um, what's hap what's going to happen is the fats are going to allow the carbs to kind of stick a little bit better. And it's gonna bring my weight up a little bit. Obviously, the fats are a little more calorically dense, um, but it's gonna just help the. 
everything kind of slow down. The carbs aren't going to go through me so quick. Mm. And um, yeah, it's going to kind of give us a little bit more bite, if you will, on this meal. Gotcha. And we should see the, the weight come up a little bit more. The real way to measure peanut butter. Yeah. The accurate way to measure peanut butter. Put the jar on the scale and then scoop it out of the jar. All right. Yummy. <laughs> there you have it. Meal five, delicacy. Looks so like it's good. whey protein in the rice. With peanut butter. With peanut butter. Delicious. That's smart. And pickles. A little bit. There's a couple. <laughs> on top or like as a side? Like, on, like over here. Oh, that's on the, on so... The east, on the east side. That's so messy. It's far up. away from my dessert side. This mm, is like the... You start God. over here and you work your way this way. That's repulsive. <laughs> Wait, are they the sweet pickles or the dill pickles? Sweet. Oh, okay, that's different. Sweet pickles. That's different. And water, of course. Yeah. We're at four liters. This will be liter five. And um, we're just trying to keep the water uh, consistent. So six liters. So I got to do another. I got to do this one plus one more before bed. So. Well, uh, I'm going to get this in, guys. I'm going to enjoy it. Comment down below if you've ever tried anything like this or give it a shot and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm very curious um, because yeah. it's honestly one of my favorite meals. Actually, sorry. This is like my second favorite meal. My number one favorite meal is when Luke says throw a Rice Krispie Square on top of that. Yeah, I was going to say that. You... That is like game over. A little sea salt. So you want to get some barbecue sauce, you want to get some peanut butter and a little bit of rice with uh, vanilla cake protein on there. This is so messed up. See that? Got it. <laughs> mm. So good. <laughs> it's the winning combination. <laughs> Nine twenty, meal six. We got eight cookies. <laughs> <laughs> They're not cookies. <laughs> okay, so basically, sixty grams of oats, twenty grams of nut butter, um, and uh, thirty-five grams of whey isolate. I made them into cookies because that's what I've been doing pretty much this entire prep. So we're just gonna keep rolling. It digests very easy for me. Um, it allows me to eat this meal a little bit slower. And again, it just, it sits really well with me. So we're gonna keep it rolling. I got half of the cookies here on this plate and I just broke it into little like Nutra Valley grain, Nutra Green bars. That's what, that's what Luke was calling them. Nutra Valley. Yeah, and I just kind of like pick at those, have my tea and I'm gonna go on my computer. I have a little bit of work to do um, and just kind of like, just, just chill out guys. That's it, just chill out. Got the rest of the cookies over there. And then I think we're gonna do an English muffin or two, possibly two English muffins or some rice as well later. Um, just to make sure my weight gets up high enough because um, we wanna make sure when we wake up, we're in and around that nine, uh, 203 to 204 mark, which means we won't have to eat a lot in the morning. We wanna keep the waist um, and midsection as tight as possible. And uh, that's the goal, so. Just gonna chill out the rest of the night and we will catch you guys tomorrow. It's show day, Pittsburgh, North Americans, super pumped, super excited. And we're gonna bring home that pro card. Let's get it. How's my hair? <laughs>